for you to come to the meeting and share this time with us. Um, I just want you to tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, first, I'd like to thank you, you know, for the opportunity to come out of here. Um, not just that I love the country, but I love the culture. I love, I love the, the whole atmosphere of it. The soccer, yeah. beach, and mm -hmm. nice people. <laughs> I uh, made some friends here and worked at camps mm -hmm. uh, with Dave Boscombe as well in the past. But most importantly, um, the idea to come out, you know, come out of here now is just to uh, make sure we can share with the kids um, our soccer experience. I played soccer professionally since I was 15, yeah. you know, and um, it's the time now to start giving away what we have as far as the passion for the game. and and do what we like to do, what we did for our whole lives. Mm -hmm. And um, make sure the kids got something that they can look up to. Definitely. Or look somebody. So yeah. I'm, uh, I'm glad that uh, I'm here. I'm, I'm happy to be here. Thanks. Thanks. Um, describe Yogo Bonito. Yogo Bonito is uh, it's a way for us to describe the beautiful game. In Brazil, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of finesse. The Brazilians, uh, mm -hmm. just like anywhere in South America, we play in a different style. Um, which brings a lot of finance, a lot of freestyle, mm -hmm. a lot of, um, you know, the kids are just trying to be creative in and, and, and every play, try to be different, try to be unique. Yeah. And you learn that at, at a young age, to be different and use your your skills to beat somebody and to show off your skills. Uh, so that's where the Jogo Bonito comes from. Okay. okay. <laughs> Can you speak on the love of, on your love of soccer, okay, as we call it? <laughs> well, soccer, you know, Pretty much is a, it's, it's everything in my life, you know, mm -hmm. that's what I, I did since I was six years old and, mm -hmm. you know, learning how to keep the ball running around and chasing the ball with uh, three brothers and a sister at home, yes. so everybody played soccer, um, I'm really passionate about the game, don't like to lose, yeah. uh, <laughs> but then uh, at the same time, you, as you go and, you know, as you play the game, you learn how to respect the other team, learn how to lose, mm -hmm. uh, and, and, you know, this is something that it's a huge part of, of my life. I had a chance, because soccer, to travel to 27 different countries, wow. yeah. you know, just chasing a soccer ball. So that's, it's just awesome. Yeah. Would you have to tell us a little bit about your futsal academy? Well, we, were, uh, we opened up a futsal academy in, in, in the U.S., mm -hmm. in uh, the state of Maryland, and uh, that was in 2004. Mm -hmm. We have today, we start off with the six teams. Today we have 20 teams playing. Uh, we call the elite teams. Mm -hmm. uh, train once a week. We have 14 weeks of a program during the winter session, mm -hmm. and uh, we travel uh, not just uh, around the region, but also around the country. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, we took a team uh, three years ago to Brazil, mm -hmm. finished second place in a tournament, a girls' tournament in Brazil. Oh, wow. um, so we're very serious about what we do, uh, develop skills, and give an opportunity to the kids to compete. Uh, you know, compete for. Uh, Taking the game to the next level, mm -hmm. with not just playing to develop skills, but also take to the competition level. Okay. <laughs> um, would you like to give a message to the kids about becoming an outdoor soccer professional? It will become an indoor soccer professional. Well, I think that um, at, you know at, th at this time, it's not really when the kids are just trying to play the game and mm -hmm. uh, not to be too picky about whether they're going to play indoor soccer or outdoor soccer. Um, you know, futsal is, a, you know, all over the world, they do have a professional professional league. Mm -hmm. um, that's how you, you know, like the game. There's, it doesn't mean that you, you can't play outdoor. Uh, in the future, it might be a way for you to tra uh, you know, transfer from, from futsal to an outdoor soccer. Yeah. So, to me, it's just, if it's your dream to become a professional mm -hmm. soccer player, the ball is rolling and you're chasing the ball and you're part of the game, that's, mm -hmm. that's fun and that's... It's gonna take a lot of dedication, but you know what? That's that's your dream. Yeah. Who cares if it's indoor or outdoor? So, um, you could so you could definitely use the indoor to transfer to outdoor. You can use indoor as a step. To yeah. Well, transfer. futsal is a game where you develop most of your skills mm -hmm. at, a, at a young age. If you start playing futsal, you're gonna see the difference of your skill level once you get older. Mm -hmm. A lot of big stars, uh, and I can name. Um, players like Ronaldo, Ronaldinho, Zico, Pelé. Mm -hmm. um, you know, today we have Neymar, uh, Maradona. You know, Romario, Bebeto. All the guys that people know the name Zidane. Yes. They know the name. All of them do have some kind of a futsal background. 
uh, started on the streets in Brazil mm -hmm. or in Argentina or in France or you know somewhere <laughs> uh, you know playing the game in a short side of a game, mm -hmm. lots of touches, lots of skills, um, and then all of a sudden they became you know outdoor superstars. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that's the only way to do it, but it helps a lot yeah. if you can develop the skills it playing football. It helps. Yeah. <laughs> what message came to the kids in Bermuda about following their soccer dream? Well, people in Bermuda, they do have some great examples out there. Um, one of the that comes out to my mind right away is a friend of mine, Dave Bosco, who mm -hmm. left from the island, played professional in the U.S., yeah. played for, uh, for the Harrisburg Heat. You know, play for the Baltimore Blast, where I got to know him personally and play with him. Mm -hmm. uh, perfect example of of somebody that can, you know, leave the island, uh, follow their, you know, his dream, and become a star in, in, in the game of he, that he loved. Yeah. And then coming back to the country now, giving back to the community, giving back to uh, to the people that live here. Mm -hmm. You know, so to me, he's not the only one. There's, I just heard recently about a, a younger girl that just got. An opportunity to play for uh, for Barcelona, yeah. so those are dreams, you know. And then people they have to start dreaming. They have to uh, they have to have some kind of a goal and have some kind of um, there's a reason for them to do that. It's just not to play, you know. If they really wanted to follow the dreams, they can have. And I just think that you guys are the skill level here in Bermuda. When we do the camps, it's 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 awesome. Mm -hmm. I love to watch. You know the style. It's very finessed. It's very relaxed. It's very creative, and I like the flavor. Uh, and so it reminds me a lot of the South American style. So I, my message is just to be positive, work hard, and, and follow follow your dream. You know, follow your dream. And one day you're gonna leave the island, make it big, and then come back in here and get back to your community. Thank you again. No problem. Thank you. Appreciate it. Awesome. <laughs>